everyone, this is Vishan Shah and welcome to Zee Interactive. I have been asked a lot of questions regarding the audio to face feature of NVIDIA. It is kind of buggy, glitchy. The reason is that because it is still under the beta version. And a lot of people are unable to use it. But recently, Unreal Engine 5.5 Preview has released a new feature, which is audio to animation. So in this video, I will teach you how you can use that feature instead of audio to face from NVIDIA. Hopefully this will make your life easier. So let's check it out. Now let's see how we can work with the new audio to animation feature of Unreal Engine 5.5. Now I'm using Unreal Engine 5.5 preview. It's not actually an actual release. It's just like a preview version. So if you want to download a preview version, so you have to go to Unreal Engine, app, sorry, Epic Games. Okay, you have to launch the Epic Games and then you have to go to the library. In the library, I have already downloaded it, but if you want to download, you have to go to the Unreal uh, Engine's versions, press the plus icon, press this small arrow, and choose 5.5 from here and then install. So let me close this one because I already have this. And if you want the MetaHuman plugin then for 5.5 and you don't have the MetaHuman plugin, so what you need to do is that you just have to go to the marketplace. And once you are in the marketplace, you have to search here for the MetaHuman. Okay. And as soon as you get the MetaHuman, I have I already own this one, but if you don't own it, you, you will just get the plugin here and you just have to click on the install to engine and choose your version. I have already installed, so it's not giving me that option, but it's okay, I can just close this one. So after, once you got the plugin, you have to just go to the settings here, go to the plugins option here and make sure the MetaHuman plugin are already checked. So it is already checked for me. You can do at your end also. Now, one thing I have to tell you here, to bring the MetaHuman, you just have to go to the quick uh, launch here or the quick add to the project option here and you have to go to the Quixel bridge. When you go to the Quixel bridge, you will notice there are some bugs here because it's a preview version. One of the bugs here is that if you go to the MetaHumans, and MetaHuman presets, you will see that you can't see the avatar, but you do see download button. I have already downloaded the Brian and added here. You can do the same or you can download whatever you want. And another thing here is that if you'll go to my MetaHumans, they all will be grayed out. The reason is that they are not compatible with the 5.5 yet. So hopefully when the full version comes out, it should be, uh, compatible at that time. So now let's see how we can bring the audio file and how we can connect the audio file with our MetaHuman. So first of all, you have to go to the content drawer and then you just have to bring your MetaHuman here, that uh, like the one that I did. Now I need an audio file. So to bring the audio file here, I just have to right click here, import, and then I have to choose where is my audio file. So here is my audio file. I will just select this one, open it up and I have the audio file here. Let me play in so that you can hear uh, like what it sounds like. So this we are testing MetaHuman tech. Okay, so this is the audio file. And now what I will do is that I have to connect these two together. So I have to right click here, go to the MetaHuman animator and I have to go to the MetaHuman performance. So from the MetaHuman performance, I can only connect these two. So I will just go to the MetaHuman performance and, and I can name it something specific like audio connector or something like that. Let me save everything, control shift and S. So everything saves. I will go to the audio connector, double click on it and I'm inside the audio connector now. Now here in the data, I have to choose the input type. The input type right now is depth footage. I have to make sure that my input type is audio. I will select the audio. Then you have to choose where your audio is. If I will go to the audio option, my audio is called monologue. So I will just go 
and search where is the monologue here it is i will select it now where do you want your audio file to be placed the control rig okay which control rig you want it to be placed with so what i need to do here is that if you will see there is this a uh, small uh, arrow here uh, you have to click on it and you have to choose your face control board control rig so because i have only one meta human and i know this is the one so i will just simply click on it and then i will go to the visualization mesh inside the visualization mesh i will go to the uh, dialog box and i will choose the face mesh of my meta human and i only have one meta human which is brine face mesh so i will just select this one pretty easy it will give me this warning but i don't know because i think this is a preview version so usually i'm getting this warning now and then so don't worry about this you just have to press yes now you have your audio file here you have your meta human here what you only need to do to connect these two is to press the process button so as soon as i will do that it will start the processing and once your processing is done and to see how it has been connected you can go to the front and play it to is what hum log test kar rahe hain meta human ka naya text to animation plugin dekhte hain kaisa chalta hai so pretty good uh now i have to export this animation so i'll go to the export option here and in the export option i will choose the same brian folder where i am exporting everything and i will call this one animation audio connector okay and i will save this and it will ask me where do you want to apply this audio animation on so i will choose my target skeleton uh, or skeletal mesh and i will choose brian face mesh once i have selected that i will just press create and that's all done so i will just go to control shift i will just press control shift and s so it will save everything and now i can close this one now i need to bring this into a level sequence so let's create a level sequence here here you can see the audio animation audio connector okay so i will just right click here go to cinematics and i will choose the level sequence okay let me show you here because it's cutting off the screen so cinematics level sequence and now i have this so i will just call this animation with audio so i will double click this one go to my sequencer press this button actor to sequencer choose brian brian is here now now i don't want these control rigs from here so i will just delete these two what i need now is my like i want a camera here so i will go to the place actors and cine and the cine camera actor drag it here somewhere okay and here it is i just have to reset the location of it i don't know where it's gone so in the location i will just reset it now i know where it is so i will just bring this up front move it up and first of all what i can do here is that i can just press the add button here and add actor to sequencer add cine camera actor and i will have this in my scene let's put this in the front and let's see where the brian is so if i will select brian from here and press f on the keyboard it will focus on the brian and now i can easily arrange my scene the way i want it okay and i will go to the camera cine camera actor and i have to fix this focus so i will go to the focus settings here manual focus distance i'll click or take this uh dropper picker and click on uh him and it's not that fixed yet so let me uh fix this one manually i don't know why it's not doing that okay so now 
is better. Turn this off. Now, what I want here to do is that I will go to uh, add audio track. In the audio track, it's again, it will give me this uh, use audio clock source option. I will just press yes. I'll get the audio option here. Press plus and choose again the monologue file from here, the one that I'm using. And where it's gone? Yeah, here it is. So I have my audio file. Now what I will do here is that inside Brian, I will go to the face and press this plus button, animation. And here is my animation audio connector, the one that I created. And I can, ha uh, I have this animation now down here. Let me collapse this. Plus the animation is not completed. So what I need to do this end uh, range stop time, I will just increase this one so it can reach to the end of the animation. Somewhere here, also my scene. And now if I will play it, let's see. So is what we are testing is Meta Human new text to animation plugin. Let's see how it works. So pretty good. So now you don't have to use NVIDIA's audio to face animation plugin. Maybe just for the expressions, but yes, it looks good. So I hope in future they include the expressions as well and our work becomes more easier. So I hope you have enjoyed this new lesson, the bonus lesson, the update of 5.5. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon. By the way, I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing. So let's change that. Subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community. Now, here's something really important I want to talk about. Please do not download my videos, just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.